I definitely fall into the the classic younger brother syndrome of I I, I follow Harry in, in in a lot of what he does just just because he's my older brother. You know, I look up to him in that way. But the one thing that I've learned from him is it's really difficult to achieve anything if you're caught up about what people think about you. And I'll start by saying, like, I think most people are too too concerned with what people think of them, myself included. Like, I've struggled with that my whole life. But I don't think that's a unique struggle. I think it's unique if you're one of those people, like my brother, who are born and they truly don't give a shit what anyone thinks. Most of us have to work at that. And as I've gotten older, I think there's a, like, there is a natural degree of letting go. Like you look at your folks, you look at your grandparents, by the time you get to that age, you just see it in people, they just don't care. But I think if you can adopt that mindset when you're in your twenties and you're trying to create an identity or trying to create something for yourself, particularly in something like acting, that is just flooded with other people's opinion and popularity and celebrity and all that, you do yourself a wonderful favor because I really don't think it matters what you're doing. At a certain point, you need to take a risk. And that risk is risking embarrassing yourself. And what you realize is that falling on your face or failing, it's never embarrassing. The only thing that's embarrassing is the anticipation of it. The actual reality of failing is you, it almost is, it makes you feel better. You go, geez, I had a crack and I failed and I'm still standing. And now that I've failed, I, I couldn't care less about doing it again and again and again and again. And I feel like most people never get over the first time, the first hurdle of going, of, of actually allowing themselves to fail at something. 